Hello everyone, welcome back to Free Automation Learning Channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss how to run parallel test script using APM Grid. So in previous uh, video we have discussed what is APM Grid, how we can set up APM Grid, how we can start a uh, hub, how we can start node. Now it is a time to come how we can run parallel test script using APM Grid and we also discuss about the code. So what are the code which help us to run this uh, uh, SSK parallel? So we will discuss all this in this video and I will also show you uh, how we can run this uh, SSK parallel. So for that I run, uh, I connected two device, one is emulator and one is real device. So we will see how we, how our same test script run on both devices at the same time right uh, at the end of the video but now i'm going to show you what are the code which i have written and what uh, how the test engine help us to run this uh, parallel execution so let me open my clips first and you can see i have created a test engine by dot xml in this i use thread count 2 it this it means that there are two tests which I have to uh, execute at the same time. So I give thread count two and how I want to uh, execute, I executed test parallelly. So this first and this first should be execute parallel, right? So here you can see I have passed different parameters. I will show you these parameters. And there is a one package which is a com dot automation test scripts. So I will show you on this framework. And there is a tom dot automation. So this is a my in this package only a login test script is and in in this test script is just it's launch the apk file and enter username and password. Right. So this is my the uh, step which I have to perform right so this is you can see here there is a run on and i have passed this value so this is a device id so how we can get let me show you i also discussed in previous video but i am show you again so i have connected to device and now i'm going to find out their device id i write adb devices and enter so you can see the two devices are attached this is my real device and this is my uh emulator right so let me show you uh, if as condition this all the capabilities which uh, i need to invoke my apk and if run on equals to this then i set a capabilities udid and launch this android device uh, android driver right if my this run on parameter equal to this then i set this capabilities and run driver is equal to new android driver mobile element new url and i pass this url same which i have write when i invoke my node right so let me invoke uh, start hub and node so this is my i launch my hub right and now i'm going to invoke node so firstly i just go and show you what i'm going to write i am giving address this and port 4729 so same i have write this i am giving this uh, url and port is 4729 right so let me launch node 1 and it will start my apm server as it is started my apm server successfully now i will launch node 2 because i am using two devices to run parallelly so i am using two node right and after that i just go and open my two devices right so let me run this so how i can run i just go to my test suits and run this apm grid right run as 
test engine source. So when I run this, you can see the two grid and application is running parallelly. So let me open my devices and we will see how it will work. So it takes some time to launch and you can see my two devices and you can see emulator is successfully launched and it takes some time on my mobile and on real devices is also launched. Now it is entering username and you can see username has been entered successfully and now it is entered password. Right. So these all the uh, task which I have to do and if you can see you can see the two test is run successfully and passed so this is the way how we can run our test escape parallelly and let me open test ng default report file so that you can see more clearly so two test and two test login has been passed if we check this view you can see first start apm server after that it set up mobile at this device id again it set up for this device id and again it execute to login right so this is the way how we can start how we can run our test skip parallel by using apm grid right so guys hopefully you understand this topic and this is the end of apm grid and if uh, I find uh, I will find any anything useful regarding APM grid, I will create a new video for that. And if you like this video, please press like button. If you wanna to subscribe my channel, please uh, click on subscribe button. You can share my video. And if you have any query related with this APM grid series. You can mail me. My email address is free automation learning channel at the red gmail.com. It is also displayed at about my section uh, on my channel. And uh, if you have any comment regarding my APM series or regarding my channel, any suggestion, any comments, you can put that comments. I really appreciate to improve my work and Thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel and share my video. Thank you for watching this. Bye bye. Take care.